That's a okay. great question. I don't know about the genesis. I, I'd have to ask the Academy, but you know, I think um, it, it does, you know? I think a lot of people um, who are up and coming animators and storytellers get seen and noticed in that category. And um, I, I think it's really cool. It's an exciting time for short form content. People are watching short films and embracing them in a way that feels like they never have. I mean, it happened with us on Netflix, the film exploded, you know? And we made it a tiny independent movie to be picked up by a giant um, distributor like Netflix. Wasn't happening even the year before, you know? Yeah, because we had pitched them and they said, we don't do shorts. We don't do animated shorts. It's not, yeah. not in our lane. And now that's opened up because also I think, you know, Disney Plus released all their shorts and all these other shorts are coming out. So Netflix has kind of jumped in there, which is really cool for really cool. everyone making shorts. I do think the shorts are uh, its own format. For me, a short is not like a, an option because you don't have the money to do a feature movie. It's just something on itself. Do you agree with that? But th I think there's a misconception of what a short is. 100%. Uh, 100%. I think a short is its own form, period. A short is a short. That's it. And I think sometimes people use shorts as like extended trailers for features and they're trying to make a feature. And I think that's where shorts kind of break down. When it's like, because it's like they're doing two different things as opposed to doing the short, telling a beginning, middle and end and having a full experience in a short, which I love. And it's, it's not... An extended trailer because there's some that I saw. It's like they were quite good, but then all of a sudden it just drops off, and you're like, "Well, where's the rest?" Oh, oh, I, I kind of felt tricked, you know. <laughs> like, you know, I think. Uh, per, sorry, Will. Go ahead. No, no, I was just going to agree with you guys. Like our, our movie was built to be a 12 minute movie, you know, from the from the get go. It wasn't like we didn't have enough money or we wanted to make it a feature. It was like the way the story came out. We always knew that it was meant to be told with that brevity. I, um, well, I, I saw it and uh, I think that uh, the film gets uh, on a very simple way. You understand everything, the emotions, the gravity of the situation, the mourning for without giving anything away. But it's amazing what you can do with a pencil. I, I'm not trying to minimize what you've done. It's amazing, but it's a simple, profound and beautiful. Could you talk a little about the technique and... Uh, because it's 2D, which is great too. It's a tribute to, I don't know, classics. Yeah, it's 2D. Every frame is hand drawn. And, you know, just in the classic style, the only thing that's more modern is the fact that it's instead of drawing every frame on a piece of paper, you're drawing it just on a giant tablet, but every, you know, with a, you know, a pen, but everything is just uh, 2D through the whole piece kind of like the classic form of animation, I think where like a lot of people come up through. And now in our modern time, it's like, you know, uh, uh, CG or, you know, 3D animation is kind of the predominant form. And so I think it's kind of refreshing to see kind of like the roots of where animation kind of came up from. Also, I think that uh, uh, the concept of the shadows, they're like, it's a little, they're after egos, but also no? or their minds or their feelings. I love that part. It's, yeah, it's very much, it's kind of like a shadow soul or it's a piece of them. It's the piece of you that can't connect, that's disconnected. And it's maybe it's a, manifest, a manifestation of your own grief and it's disconnected. It's exciting. It's like when you think of the, the characters, you think of, okay, well, there's three main characters, a mother, a daughter, and the father. But actually there's six characters because they each have their own shadow souls and they each and also all six have a different emotional state so that became very exciting to animate six emotional states in one frame i love the kitty cat we shouldn't forget him <laughs> will will and i both have we're cat guys we both have black cats yeah so it was like it was a no-brainer that there's going to be a beautiful cat and also you know you probably know as well you know cats always have that ability to see the supernatural to see the spirits to see the ghosts in the room and so we always wanted to incorporate that kind of historical element with cats how important was it for you both of you to be nominated and uh uh, what do you think uh, is the impact of being nominated for such a, a great award? The impact for us, um, it's just been incredible because now more people will get to see the film. 
And that's been the greatest gift because you always want to create something. You want people to see it. And, and now we've moved up in these higher levels and we've moved up to this wonderful award, but now we know more people will see it and more people will watch it. And so we're just so proud that maybe new audiences can find it because they go, oh, wow, that's an Academy Award nominated film. I want to check it out. And, and that's where I'm so happy. I've worked on a lot of independent films and this was the most independent film I've ever worked on. And we just made it a very small crew around our kitchen table and to, you know, finish it was the goal and to be picked up by Netflix and now to be noticed by the Academy and have people from all out, all, all over the world reach out to us is, is definitely, I think the coolest feeling we've ever had as storytellers. It's been really rewarding. What's the impact of being, uh, you know, in that list of uh, Academy Award nominated, uh, short films, animated short films. Marianne. Um, well, I mean, it was surreal, I think for all of us on the movie, our goal in starting and doing this project was just to finish it. <laughs> we had, you know, we did it, uh, we really didn't have any resources and we didn't have really much money at all. Um, but we had a lot of passion and so, um, you know, we were just happy to have it be finished and to get into some film festivals, but to have it be nominated for an Academy Award, I think is, uh, it's, I mean, it's beyond expectation, um, and it is completely surreal feeling, but wonderful for the message of the film to be reaching so many people. Yeah, I think the message of the film is really important and also the way you deliver the, the story is really beautiful. Uh, are you planning on showing it at high schools or, you know, it needs to be seen by everybody because it really, you know, touches like the mass shootings in this country is unacceptable in my mind. Yes, currently we're working with, uh, we're friends with Every Town for Gun Safety, and they've been using the film. And um, uh, during their uh, Survivor Week, they used the film to kind of lead discussions about grief. And it was a jumping off point. So they all watched the film and they kind of had wonderful discussions about their experiences and other survivors' experiences about gun violence. So, so we we're just very honored that our film can play a small part in, in helping others heal and um, discussions. So now, you, now that you're nominated and many people, oh, the nomination changed my life. Is your phone ringing off the hook, even though it's a mobile phone? Like, come and work with me or not? <laughs> On the morning of the nomination, um, you know, I was sitting there with my wife and we, we watched, you know, and then they called out the title of the film and it was very exciting. And then I immediately got on the phone and I talked to Will and I said, oh my gosh, this is happening. And I think I talked to him very briefly for maybe like two minutes because everyone was calling him and I put my phone down and, and in those two minutes I had 57 text messages. So it's like, it was quite exciting. And I don't think I've had anyone contacting me more in my life. So it's like every person who's ever known me has been contacting me. So it's been very exciting. 